We've started August 6 and 2 on MLB videos, and today we'll be breaking down a showdown between two National League division leaders in the Los Angeles Dodgers and the Milwaukee Brewers, where we have a money making opportunity on a total. Hi, I'm Steve Seagrave from SportsMemo.com. I have a great seven day all access offer that I need to share with you guys at the end of the video. But for now, if you guys enjoy the content, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let us know who you got tonight, whether it be side, total, player, prop, this game or any game on the schedule. I'll be checking those comments, getting back to you guys throughout the night. So we cast our Saturday video. We didn't have one on Sunday. We had the under 7.5 for the Mariners' Mets. The Mets scored one run in that entire series. Uh, Saturday, Mariners prevail 4-0. It makes us 6-2 and two for our August MLB videos. Clients are 16-8 and eight now in August, plus 30 units. So we've been running hot since the rabbit, rabbit, rabbit in July. We did it again in August, and we continue to run hot right now. So we'll look to keep that going into today's action. Today we got L.A. Dodgers at Milwaukee Brewers. First pitch, 8-10 p.m. Eastern from American Family Field. And the game is basically a pick 'em got both sides sitting at negative 110 total sitting at an even eight we've got two veteran starters going toe to toe clayton kershaw the lefty freddie peralta the righty going from milwaukee kershaw 0 two on the year 438 on the era with a 1.62 whip he's only had three starts under his belt after coming back from the injury he's coming around a little bit last start out he looked pretty good Four and two thirds, only one earned allowed, uh, one earned run allowed against the Phillies. However, he hasn't made it past the fifth inning yet this season. So, this is his fourth start. Maybe he can get there today. Uh, but this is a tough matchup because the Brewers hit well at home and they're pretty. They do well getting on base against left-handed pitching. On the other side of things, we've got Freddie Peralta, seven and six, four oh two on the ERA, one point two two on the WHIP. He's coming off a start where he allowed four earned runs in five innings in Atlanta last time out, and that's a team that really doesn't hit right-handed pitching very well this season. Um, and he's been vulnerable to two things, the, the walks and the long ball. We saw that last season with him where he allowed a whole bunch of home runs, and in his last three starts, he's allowed five home runs and nine walks across only 16 and a third innings pitch so that's a bad combination when you're walking guys and giving up the long ball especially against a lineup like the Dodgers and Peralta also has an ERA that's close to a run higher when he's pitching at home so he prefers to pitch on the road guys before I give you my official play I wanted to talk to you guys about this seven day all access pass deal we're running over at Sports Memo it's a smoking deal because you get it for $49 which is actually the cost of a normally a three day pass and to put things in perspective, a 5% play alone is $29. This includes all sports, all 5% plays, so you might even catch two in a week span if you're lucky. Um, it includes, like I said, all sports. Uh, it will be MLB and WNBA for now, but we got NFL coming as well as uh, college football. But this seven-day pass, obviously, so it won't matter for that right now. I am in action tonight in the MLB. And we've pulled in 50 units now for clients since July 1st. So there will be a link attached to my sports memo page attached to this video. I'd encourage you guys to check out that smoking deal. Uh, seven days, only $49 all access. Like I said, that's the cost normally of a three-day pass. So I would check that out. And you guys are here for the pick for today. So Milwaukee has been a top 10 lineup all season long against left-handed pitching at home. They've been much a much better lineup hitting at home all season long. And the Dodgers, they get a big boost today with Mookie Betts returning to the lineup. He's going to be playing right field. And while, you know, it's his first game back, we can't expect the world out of Mookie tonight. I do think it gives the Dodgers a big lift tonight. And they're a lineup that hits better against righties. The lefties are the ones they have the problem with. So I think that they get to Peralta. And I think... Kershaw could have some issues tonight as well. In the first series where these teams met up, Dodgers took two of those three games, and these teams combined for 13, 8, and 11 runs in the first series. However, the Brewers do have a strong bullpen. Dodgers' numbers aren't so great recently, but they do have some decent expected numbers, so I want to keep the bullpens out of this one. I considered the over 8 total 
and I think it probably gets there. However, for the official play for the video, we're going to go first five over four and a half runs. We can get it at negative 105 right now over at DK. Like I said, I think both lineups get to the starters in this one. Uh, I think one of these lineups could potentially get this job done by themselves, but they combine for five runs in the first five. We go home a winner. We make it seven and two on our August MLB videos. Like I said, there'll be a link attached to my action attached to this video. I always have free plays on X at Steve's Book 22 or, as well as at SportsMemo.com. And if you guys could do me a favor and hit that like button on the way out if you enjoy the content, good luck, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for Red Sox Rangers.